Now joining me to break down the bracket in full detail, I have Oakland coach Greg Campy. Thanks for coming into the studio. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, first of all, I just want to get your thoughts sort of in general on the bracket. Any big surprises? Anything you uh, were thrown off by? The biggest surprise for me was that Michigan State, Kansas, and Duke are all in the same region, and that, that just blew my mind. And then can, uh, Kentucky and Arizona maybe in the second round, those were things you just norm, normally don't see. Mm -hmm. They stacked is the word I would use for the Midwest region right. for sure. Right. I, I knew one of them would get to, to Little Caesars. Um, I'm not surprised it's Michigan State. I know a lot of Michigan fans are mad because they think they should have gotten there. Mm -hmm. But I think Tom Izzo would trade with Beeline tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You can come to Little Caesars if I can have your draw. So let's talk about Michigan State, obviously a team that you're familiar with. Um, they do have a hard road ahead of them. Is it impossible? <sighs> you know, I, it, it's not, it, nothing's impossible, especially, you know, with that team, because I think it's a heck of a team and, you know, obviously a great coach. Um, but, you know, you're going to have to go through Duke, who you've already played once. And then if you get the excitement of winning that game, now you've got Kansas in two days. Um, that's going to be really, really difficult. I, I, I hope they can do it, but I think it's going to be really difficult. You also played Kansas this season, so mm -hmm. you know both teams, I mean, how difficult it's going to be. From your perspective, is there a team, if, if it comes down to that, that would have, an, you know, the advantage? Well, I, I think Duke of the... You know, I think Duke, because I think Duke's zone will hurt Michigan State. Mm -hmm. I think that Michigan, uh, Duke can rebound with Michigan State. I think Michigan State, Kansas, I like Michigan State because uh, Kansas is a perimeter team, all guards. They have one really good big guy. He's injured. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Michigan State could pow overpower them at the basket. Duke, though, they've already played once. They know each other. It, it, that, that game's a toss-up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Michigan briefly, because like you said, Izzo would probably trade with Coach Beeline in a heartbeat. Uh, they have their work cut out for them, but uh, and, and obviously some Wolverines fans and possibly the team itself would have liked to be here in Detroit as well, but they're headed to Wichita facing Montana in the first round. Um, what are what are their chances? How do you like their chances of getting to the Final Four? I know they'd rather be in Detroit, but I think they would much rather be in San Antonio. And <laughs> I think they have a chance. I think mm -hmm. they have a real chance. Um, their, their, their games, you know, Houston uh, in the second round probably. I think that that's a team that they can beat. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't think it's a scary team. Um, the, you look down at Cincinnati, Cincinnati's a really defensive-minded team, uh, not a great offensive team. Michigan's defense this year has been just outstanding. I think it's a great matchup for Michigan. And then Xavier, you know, yep. the, you, you look at Xavier uh, as maybe the weakest of the four top seeds, and that's who Michigan would have if they get all, you know, if the seeds hold up. So. I, I really like their chances. They're playing well. They're on a roll. Very well coached team. Seniors. Uh, that that tough center matchup with mm -hmm. uh, Wagner, where you can take people outside and shoot. Um, I just think they're a tough matchup, and I really, really like their chances. And they're trending in the right direction right now, which I feel like they do every every year at this time. Recently, their last few years that they've really been playing good. You know, last year you remember the plane, mm -hmm. you know, almost plane crash, and how they played, and they went through the tournament, and then they were close last year to get into a Final Four. They got there a few years ago. Uh, they were in Elite Eight the next year. They're really in a position with this draw that they have a chance, a real chance. If I backed you into a corner and made you choose which uh, which racehorse you were going to pick to make it to the final four between Michigan and Michigan State. Who'd you pick? Well, I'd like them both to get there. Yeah. And I think everybody in the state would too. Absolutely. And I, and, they, and it could happen. It really could to see them play in the final four would be unbelievable for the state of Michigan. But if I had to jump on one horse only because of the draw, yeah. I think I would jump, jump on Michigan. That's fair. I think Michigan State fans are aware of that. It is. It's a tough road. Not like you said, not impossible, but just a tough road ahead. Any major snubs you saw tonight? Oh, I, I was surprised U, USC didn't get in. They got 23 wins. They got to the Pac-12 championship game. That really was a surprise to me. Oklahoma getting in and being a 10th seed, I think, was a surprise. And of course, I'm partial to the mid-majors and with Middle Tennessee and St. Mary's both not getting in. I, I th one get in, yeah. but both of them didn't. I feel really bad for them. St. Mary's has a heck of a team. And you know, one of the things that happens is when you get that good, you can't get people to play you. Yeah. 
And so they'll say, well, St. Mary's is scheduled. Well, people won't play them. And, you know, so I feel bad for St. Mary's. I really do. They have a senior that's a, one of the best players in the country, and he's not going to get to play in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Uh, final question for you. Who's going to win it all? Who's going to be the 2018 national champion? Well, I like Villanova. I like their bracket. I like everything about um, that basketball team. They've won it a couple years ago. Uh, they've been there. They know how to do it. They've got a great point guard, and I think in the NCAA tournament, uh, because there's so many close games, guards have to make plays down the stretch. So I really like Villanova. And I'll tell you what, with Michigan's draw, you, you can't discount them. I, I, really, I really think that they've got a real chance to get to the Final Four and to win it all. Awesome. Well, good luck with your bracket. Even if you're only filling it out in your head, we all will have one. We're hoping that it doesn't start bleeding too soon with all that red marker. <laughs> yeah, I've got my family does one with my sons, so I've just got to beat my three sons. That's all I care about. Perfect. I love <laughs> it. Thank you so much for, for giving your time and coming in here. All right, thanks for having me.